Hey, Retcon Raider here. Today's video is dedicated to Adri Raven. With special thanks to a nerd in war paint who helped sponsor the series. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, let's get started. So last time I said, the voice on the radio is never your friend. What about me? Good old Floyd never steered you wrong. Are we pals? Hmm? Am I your friend? Of course not. You don't know me. You don't know what I want from you. I say I want you to think for yourself. What if I want to make you feel like you already do? Know why someone wants you to think, and you'll know what they want you to think. Huh. That is actually a uh, pretty interesting point. Anyway, um, welcome back to Chimera Squad. As we uh, continue waging our one squad war on the largely ineffectual forces of the progeny. Speaking of which... There we go. <laughs> I am not normally a maximum difficulty kind of guy, but I figure uh, they can use all the help they can get. Now, I'm not anticipating a huge difficulty spike here, but I would like the combat missions to at least be a little more interesting. Speaking of which, I have gone ahead and uh, redone our squad lineup, and as a general rule of thumb, we're not going to use the max level recruits outside of story missions. Just so we can uh, mix things up a little. At any rate, as you can see, we currently have two missions waiting for us. And, uh, while we could certainly use that intel, I don't think we've actually done End of the Line before. End of the Line. 31 PD picked up chatter of hostiles en route to strike a local manufacturer. They requested we drive off the assault. Sounds pretty straightforward. Hmm. We should, uh, probably keep some intel in reserve, so let's hold off on the field team upgrade for now. We can live without that five extra Illyrium. As you can see, I have uh, already set up our loadout, so uh, we're good to go. Let's see what the new and improved progeny has to offer. Sweep the area for hostiles. Weapons free. Well, obviously we will take the side entrance. And let's make sure we go in heavy. This should be interesting. Go, go, go. Grenade out. Now, Zephyr is uh, going to punch someone, so we'll want to make sure she goes after someone undercover. Otherwise, she'll just run out in the middle of the room.
I will say that um, while Zephyr's not the most practical recruit, she is a lot of fun. There's uh, something very satisfying about her unique brand of hit-and-run tactics. Of course, she is currently level 1, so we're going to want to be careful with her. First things first, let's level the playing field. Throwing grenade. And now we punch. Nice. Looks like we immobilize the acolyte. Transferring. Let's get her armored up, just in case. Armored up. And now we just do some damage. Frag out. Hey. Lovely. That actually worked out really nicely. All right, Claymore. Let's make some arrests. Hmm. Wish we were one space closer, but... That should be fine. <laughs> I like how uh, someone opened the door, took a peek inside, and immediately left. That's a uh, pretty smart move, all things considered. Throwing plasma. Let's see if we can uh, get lucky with a long shot here. Knock this guy out of the queue. Drop the target. Would you look Good at work. that? Throwing grenade. Okay, let's lock this guy down. Time out. Pausing hostile. Shocking hostile. Go on. Fight. Okay there, Zephyr? You uh, seem a bit jumpy. I'm okay. I'm still up. Jerk. Keep going. You can do this. Just had to ruin our flawless, didn't you? Shields up. Buttoned up. 
All right, I guess we're just waiting on this guy. Watching my zone. Thanks for looking out. Jolting the target. Frying the hostile. A thousand. <laughs> oh, wow. These guys cannot catch a break. Get down for good. Thank you. Attack repelled. The manufacturer is grateful for our assistance. You kept their people safe. Gotta say, that um, didn't feel very impossible, but they uh, did at least get a hit in. Credits, 15 Illyrium, 20 Intel. Not too shabby. For 10 minutes work. Oh, wow. And we got an almost full set of promotions. I wonder if the difficulty setting affects the amount of XP you get. Sticky Grenade. Claymore throws a grenade that adheres to an enemy, causing them to fall back to a new location. When the unit stops running, the grenade explodes. Four turn cooldown. Ends the turn. <laughs> and that would be one of my favorite abilities in the game. I mean, don't get me wrong, uh, Patchwork's Jolt is pretty fantastic, but this one is a lot more fun. Overload. Cherub can now store three charges and gains bonus mobility when fully charged. Yeah, that's about as underwhelming as it sounds. I'm not sure I can really see it coming up much. Capacitor Discharge Patchwork sends the Gremlin to a location where it emits a substantial electric discharge, damaging and potentially stunning all nearby units. Robotic units take more damage. One use per mission. And once again, patchwork with the uh, top tier upgrades. I think it's pretty well established that she is one of, if not the, best recruit. They probably could have balanced these guys out a little better. Improved Spec Ops is done. Let's get started on Master Crafted Armor. Looks like we do need more Illyrium. Free Field Team Upgrade. Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and grab that plasma grenade. We've been getting a lot of use out of that frag, so uh, we might as well upgrade. All right, let's do a little damage control here. Oh, and uh, you know what? We need to swap patchwork out. Storm Generator increases the chain range of Chaining Jolt. <laughs> yeah, because she clearly wasn't already ridiculous enough. I will say that uh, does make her proximity zap pretty hilarious. Hmm. Let's bring... Blue blood in as our safety. Or maybe Verge. He's not max level yet. 
Nah, blue blood's fine. Which means Godmother is back on recruitment. All right, damage control. Vigilance Highland Square. Quarantine Old Town. And we will dragnet the alloy thieves. Because we actually do need Illyrium. Why did you leave your resistance group? After the war, the skirmishes opened to all hybrids who rejected Advent. Good deal for clones. A new identity for those without one. That sounds positive. Is it? I'm no clone. Records say I was Australian, but I don't remember that girl. Nothing about her life. How could I build a new future with them if I don't know my past? There's no place for me. Not anywhere. I disagree. Profoundly. It's not that simple, but thanks, mate. Okay. Wow. Um, that was actually a pretty intriguing exchange. I wish we had more conversations like that one. She's a lot more interesting than Cherub. Uh, anyway, uh, let's fill out our squad here. We'll pull in Verge. And let's see what we've got here. Oh, modal inducer. I would like to have one of those. Yeah, these are appealing too, but I think we'll get more use out of that inducer. Sure, why not? Hot tip. Our contact at the Viper's Nest reports that an asset of interest has fallen into the hands of our opposition. If we recover it, we might be able to put it to use. I think that can be arranged. Let's get those loadouts set. And here we go. Spotted the contraband. Recover as able. Looks like we're repelling in, so no grenades or scanners. Dodge bonus goes to Zephyr. Auto crit goes to Claymore. Auto stun goes to Blue Blood, which means aim bonus will go to Verge. Yeah, that should work. 
Breach! Breach! These guys have got it rough. I've got to say, Zephyr, I was really hoping you would come up on the left side. But that is fine. You've also got some poor acolyte fused into a pipe there. Gotta be careful with that teleportation. Bounced off. That armor's tough. Got him! Confirm. Got the hostile. All right, Seth. Whoops. You know what? Let's get some, uh, let's get some insurance here. Nah, we'll save it. Smashing extremity. And back to safety. Relatively speaking. Now, we need to take out that brute. but not quite enough. Well, let's see if this works. Ruining the hostile's day. No, no, no. <laughs> Arrested. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, we lucked out there. Okay, let's wrap this up. Less 
Good hit. Oh. That one got me. Still up. You're under arrest. I actually forgot those guys have an auto attack. It just comes up so rarely. Live and learn. I think we'll just blitz right through that main door. Target in sight. Take it and run. Oh, right. We're actually here to recover something. All right. I think I see what we can do here. Drop to hostile. Grenade out. Unleash your frustration. Jeez, we're not even giving these guys a chance. I guess we should start whittling away at that Necro Dancer. that forklift. Let's hope it's insured. Throwing plasma. Z 
Zap the Sorcerer. I'll take it. Excellent. Zephyr will suplex the brute. As an aside, that guy is very dead. Uh, I mean, arrested. Hmm. Can we make that shot? Drop the target. Turns out we can. Hey, and a free action to boot. Guess we'll prep for reinforcements. We don't know where the exit is. Watching my zone. Deep breath. Pick your shots. Repositioning. That's it. Oh, good. It is, of course, on the far side of the warehouse. Let's do a phased fighting withdrawal. Um, free kill aside, Blue Blood is panicked. All right, looks like our departure is delayed. Moving quickly. Watch for hostiles. One angle covered. On the run. Worst I've seen. Transferring. Very nice. Okay, that buys us some time. Weapons running low. All right, Blue Blood. Let's get you out of here. Say your goodbyes. Got the hostile. Chimera Squad, we are leaving. Good to go. Ah, 
the target. Your mind falls away. Hmm. Okay, slight change of plans. Tag the hostile. Should have been my kill. Bounce off the armor. Every little bit counts. Another hostile down. Glad you're on our side. Headed this way. And we are done. You know what? Still not impossible, but uh, definitely more interesting. Those guys are clearly stronger and uh, more accurate than they were before. I look forward to seeing some more challenging encounters. Moving on. Modal Inducer, minus one on rest, 50 intel, and 115 credits, including the bonus for rescuing that hostage. That is a pretty serious payday. Somehow, the progeny got their hands on an experimental codex. They're using it in ways it was never intended. Take advantage of this. If you force them to spread it thin, the codex will deteriorate. Ooh. Again, uh, that is a fairly intriguing plot point. I really wish the game had um, more consistent writing. I like a lot of the concepts here, it's just a little all over the place. <laughs> and look at that, another almost full set of promotions. We must be getting some sort of hidden XP bonus. Puppeteer. Verge mind controls all enemies in the neural network. The effect only lasts for the remainder of the turn. One use per mission. Pretty solid. Face off. Blue Blood fires their pistol at every enemy in line of sight, limited by ammo. One use per mission. Happy to have it, but... I guess that means Blue Blood is now reserved for story missions. Parry. The extra action for momentum can be spent to prevent damage from the next attack instead of moving. And that adds some nice versatility to Zephyr. Not sure if it stacks with Cherub's Guard, though. I'll have to look into that. Okay, and uh, it looks like that is all of our bookkeeping. We 
we've got a new story mission, but we're obviously not doing that today. Let's go uh, grab this missing informant, and then I think we'll be at a pretty good stopping point. Oh, nice. Payday. I actually lost track of that. And our anarchy is slowly starting to climb, so we'll need to keep an eye on that, too. Oh, speaking of which, they have set us up in a situation here where uh, it is basically impossible to avoid additional anarchy. So, you know what? We will hit the pause button here. I will mull over our options. And we'll pick up here next time. See you then. Oh, and remember, although I do love playing XCOM Chimera Squad, you can find out more about the game by visiting the official website, the official YouTube and Twitch channels, the official social media feeds, or the official store page over on Steam. Links are in the description.